Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to trade Fibonacci retracement, eyes wide open like a pro. The financial instrument that we are analyzing today is uh, Liberty Global Incorporation, EPIC LBTYK, Lima Bravo Tanko. Yankee Kilo. This is an American stock that belongs to the communication services sector. And we want to discuss how to trade Fibonacci retracement, eyes wide open like a pro. All right. When it comes to Fibonacci retracement trading, a lot of traders quickly get into trouble because they are trading okay the Fibonacci retracement uh, blindly. Today I want to show you how one can trade Fibonacci retracement with eyes wide open like a pro. All right. So if a financial instrument is bullish, so there was a bullish move, an impulse wave, price goes up from A to B and then pull back. Without coming to the beginning, all right, we will apply Fibonacci retracement uh, to the price action here, the bullish price action, to determine how much profit people are taking. And also to highlight the Fibonacci retracement key levels. Now, the Fibonacci key levels are not a magic level where the price will definitely turn around. All we are doing, we want to look for an opportunity to buy at those Fibonacci key levels, if there is a signal to buy. If there is no signal to buy, we will not buy. We will look for, the opposite is also true, similarly in a downtrend. If a financial instrument goes down from A to B and rally up a bit, we use Fibonacci retracement to the prior bearish move and we want to highlight the Fibonacci retracement key level looking for opportunities to sell at the key Fibonacci retracement level but we will not just sell because of the Fibonacci key levels all right so you may be wondering George tell us tell us now how one can trade Fibonacci retracement okay eyes wide open like a pole. so we are looking at this stock here you can see that it was bullish from here All the way up here. This is a bullish trend, all right, in the red channel here. Now the price start coming down. So the first Fibonacci key level that people are watching is this one here, the 38.2 percent Fibonacci investment level. You can see that uh, there were buyers here. So but the price went up for two months for day trading. It's okay to look for an opportunity to buy in that zone, but in order to control this kind of uh, trade here. You can see that this candlestick bar was quite bearish before the following one was bullish. So probably a lot of traders will start buying after okay the bullish candlestick bar here. All right. So the trick that we use, we use a different time frame trading method to control the trade. But sometime talking about how Fibonacci retracement traders are making mistakes or are trading a Fibonacci retracement blindly. There is one example here. When the price finally reaches uh, uh, reach the, the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, 50% Fibonacci retracement level right there. And uh, usually there are some traders that will always, always buy okay, at a 50% Fibonacci retracement level. All right? So you see price went up a bit, pull back, went up a bit, pull back. The reason why I say that those traders here, those Fibonacci traders are trading blindly is because they are not aware of this uh, okay, orange uh, trend line. So they are using Fibonacci retracement without paying attention to other okay, uh, price structure, i.e. key support and trend line. So there is this uh, orange trend line connecting this point and this one here. It's a resistance level. So what the price was doing, the price break below that uh, uh, orange trend line, retest the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. So here is a tricky place to buy as a Fibonacci trader. Price break below the key level is going to go and retest that key level, and there will be sellers. Here it is, sellers sold it. I will understand those who bought it here. Hold on, please. 
Oops. All right. So the first buyers here are using the Fibonacci retracement blindly because some of them do not know that there is a trailer here, there is a resistor here, and also there is a resistor at $34.57, which is the horizontal line here. Some traders do not even know. And they are trading the Fibonacci retracement blindly. I can understand those who bought it here. The second time the price found a support here with the tail here, which means price found a resistance, price retest the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, pull back, rally up to retest the resistance level, find a resistance, start coming down, but fail to form a new lower low in comparison to this one here. So this is, you see, that's why you see now you have a tall bullish candlestick bar because it's a weakness of those who are selling here. So after the, the, the orange trend line has been converted into a resistance level, which i.e. break below retest, find a resistance, people start selling it down, the price failed to form a new lower low in comparison to this low. So this is an invitation to buy. So here, those of Fibonacci traders that bought it here at 50% Fibonacci retracement level were making okay, an intelligent decision because this is uh, okay, the negation of the bearish progression here because the price failed to form a new lower low. Here you see a tall bullish candlestick kind of bar. But you see, we're not big time, yes or no? All right. But if you were buying here just because you are using a Fibonacci retracement level, what you can do is to use different time frame trading method, and if the signal fails, you will come out. In fact, at this point in time, because of the, the, the vicinity of for that orange line, it's quite a support and the resistance very close to each other, we need to be very careful. So therefore, it will be better to switch into day a trading mode. So you are day trading gently, gently, gently until it reaches this level, all right? And okay, then if after this bearish candlestick kind of bar, then you will decide to sell it down. And your first support level, if you sell it here after this bearish candlestick kind of bar, your first target is this level of $27.76, which was the prior low. Here, the price from this long tail, another tail, an invitation to buy, and price rally up here. But a lot of Fibonacci retracement traders are trading the Fibonacci retracement blindly. There's another group waiting here in a zone of between the 50% and the 61.8% level. I can assure you that there are already orders already placed here waiting for the price to fill those orders. And there will be buyers here. But those of Fibonacci traders, again, are trading blindly. There's another key resistance level here, which is corresponding to the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. So if you want to buy here, again, from the 61.8% to the 50% level, there are two key levels. You need to be aware of that. One more thing, because the financial instrument was bullish before, all right? Now people start taking profit, all right? But we need to understand the language, what is happening, the market cycle. The financial instrument will go up, and then we will have what we call a correction, and a correction can take a long time, even many years, all right, before a new, okay, a bullish trend will begin. You need to understand that. Another mistake that Fibonacci retracement traders are making here is that, you see, the prime was in the red channel first. I told traders before, what was the title of that video again? Let me look quickly. I was talking about this uh, recently, how to forecast price action using profit target like a pro. If not, uh, yes, I think it's that video. Or oh, all around, that's it. The video that I'm referring you to is all around chart analysis, tips and tricks, one must grasp. All around chart analysis, tips and tricks, one must grasp. Uh, this has been uh, posted at 24 Stock Trader YouTube channel, Digit 2, Digit 4 Stock Trader YouTube channel. Check it out. Very, very important video all around chart analysis, tips and tricks. One must grasp. Watch it, watch it, please watch it. All right. So here we are. So if the financial instrument was bullish before and start coming down, professional uh, traders will use okay the width of that channel. You see this channel here. And then we start projecting in the direction of the price. You see? 
So though the 38.2 percent Fibonacci trader was buying here, which is not a bad place, you can see that the moving at 14 start turning. The moving at 14 is telling that the current momentum, the momentum is bearish. So if you are buying here, you need to be careful. It's going to go near the moving at 14. Probably you find a resistance, which it did, and it's going to come back down and try to retest it again here. Now, as traders are projecting that red channel in the direction of the price, a lot of Fibonacci traders who do not combine the Fibonacci retracement trading and the market geometry will get into trouble because they are now aware of the projection of the channel and, uh, okay, and the key levels that are on the chart. So all the lines that you see here, the blue line, those are the projection of the first channel, and those are also trend lines that the professionals are monitoring. So like here, anybody that is buying here at the 50% Fibonacci investment where we are now should be aware of that blue trend line and also the pink line here. But a lot of Fibonacci traders, all they do care about is where is the 38.2% level, where is the 50% level, where is the 61.8% level, is going to turn around at 38.2% level, it's going to turn around at 78% level, and it's in fact a kind of gambling because they are just trading at the Fibonacci retracement key level without any combination with other technical tools like a market geometry, trend line, projection of channel, and so on, and so on, even paying attention to the current momentum, which is depicted by the moving of the 14 declining down. You don't want to buy in that case, all right? especially on a monthly chart. All right? So one more time. If one wants to use the Fibonacci retracement after a bullish trend, one should always use it in conjunction with the market geometry, the projection of the channel, so to determine okay the best place to buy and to sell. Where are the resistance level? Where are the trend line? So we do not buy into a resistance level, or we do not make a wrong decision. Even now here, the price is coming down. You see, it's coming down. All right. So, see, according to this point. And this one here, this point, and this one here, allow me to draw the pink line. There is a, a bearish pink line here that is suppressing the price. Another thing that I want to say to traders that are using Fibonacci retracement, the minimum price move is free. And any way traders know that. So as the price was bullish for some time, it came down to the 50% level. There is this rally up. They will be expecting it to come back down one more time if it breaks below the level of 50% Fibonacci retracement level. So there are sellers in this zone trying to force it down. But the point I want to make to you is that if you are using Fibonacci retracement, looking for trading setup, all right, you want to pay attention to the market geometry, where are the key levels, so you do not make your decision in the void. So preferably, see here, price start coming down. Where it is now is a kind of consolidation between the 38.2% level and the 50% level. Is something else you need to know also. So there is a consolidation taking place here. If you if you are buying here, you know that it's a consolidation play. Instead of just buying and hoping that it's going to go up forever, you will just switch. You just need to switch into consolidation mode, which you are looking for opportunity to buy here and ready to catch your profit as it reaches the the 34 level. Until it breaks above the 34 level, then you take it one step at a time and you are aware of the orange trend line, which is a key resistance level that is suppressing the price here. You can see that though this was a high probability trading setup, this one here, after the price failed to form a new lower low, if you do not draw that orange trend line, you don't know that there's a resistance there. That's why the price did change direction here because of the orange trend line. So you'll be thinking that you form a double bottom at, at the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. George said before that that, uh, that is a high probability trading setup. Yes, but you are, there is a, a resistance trend line right here ahead of us. All right, so now... The price is in a declining channel. This is another thing I'm talking about, and uh, it's also a mistake. All right? So we have now a bearish a pink channel that is in place. So if we are buying using the Fibonacci retracement, it's a contra trend, yes or no? It's a contra trend because the, price, the, the current market pattern is a declining channel. Right now, the medium-term trend is a consolidation between the 50% and 38.2% level, but in a long-term view, is a declining channel. So, if the financial instrument, all right, talking about Liberty Global Incorporation, pull back to this angle here, somewhere in that zone, 
and we decided to buy at 61.8% level, which I told you there will be barriers in the zone if you are buying here, we need to be careful because we are in a declining channel. You see now? So you do not want to use the Fibonacci retracement blindly. You want to use the Fibonacci retracement with your eyes wide open, i.e. draw use market geometry, draw the trend line, pay attention to the price structure, or pay attention to the key levels, use them in conjunction with the Fibonacci retracement key level instead of using the Fibonacci retracement blindly. Will you agree with me, or <laughs> you do not have to, okay, that uh, by mapping up the chart as I did here, one will use the Fibonacci retracement more accurately and without violating the market pattern. So, in fact, those who are selling here are making better decisions because we see the price breaks below the orange line, we test it twice, now we have a kind of a double top here, and they are making the right decision. But if they are selling here, and they are also ignoring the medium-term market pattern, which is a consolidation between the 50% and the 61.8% level, uh, they are fooling themselves because it's all about one step at a time. Why? Because people are buying near the 50% level and they are taking profit at the 38.2% level until the market pattern okay, uh, changes one more time. The market pattern will change one more time if the price breaks below the 50% level to the 61.8% level. But one more time, if we are buying here, if we have a bullish trading setup here, why? Look at this carefully. This was a high here, yes or no? It was a high, it's a high price. Went up, there was a high before it pulled back. So this level of $22 is a key level. So if it did below the $27 level, the next support level is $22 level. So we map it out. So if it comes down here, there will be bias. That's what I was telling you. There will be bias between the 50% and 61.8% level. But the long-term market pattern is bearish. So though we can swing trade and day trade from this point onward up, we know that that trade is a contra trend. And we need to map, we need to handle it carefully, being aware of the level of $27 level and also the top of the pink channel. But most of the Fibonacci traders that are trading blindly will just buy here and they will say that, okay, definitely, that's it. The stock is oversold. It's going to go up forever. No, it's one step at a time. If there was a bullish trading setup here, we'll implement a top-down trading method to trade it. Price going up, next resistance, $27.76, and the top of uh, the bearish channel. If it reaches again <laughs> the top of the channel, one should secure again. I'm not saying I can't break a bone, but until that time, well, if you find a resistance here, we are in a declining channel, that will be an invitation to sell, all right? And then we will sell it again down, trying to reach the level of $78, okay, level, because why? The market pattern will determine the appropriate strategy that we must use. So in order to quickly improve your Fibonacci treatment uh, trading method, you must not ignore the market pattern. All right, so those who bought it here, all right, were smart. In fact, at, I believe they were smart because why they were smart. Uh, though the, if the trade here was quite tricky, quite challenging, you can see that as the prior reaches that uh, orange line, they quickly closed their trade. You can see all of them came out. Can you see? Which mean professional were aware of the, 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 the orange trend line. Otherwise, you see, they were aware of it. They are aware of it. That's why, see, it just stopped there. But if you were just trading yourself and you say, all right, we, the price is changing direction at 50%, percent you manage the trust my level. And at that point in time, the price is here. All right, so you were here, you say, all right, we have a bullish currency bar, and you buy here. So you see, you want, I want to join them. You buy here, you are joining them at a time when they are about to come out of their trade, and you are taken out as a swing trader. You don't want to do that. So the point I'm making again. Draw your trend line, draw your channel, apply market geometry, do not violate the medium term market pattern and also the long term trend market pattern. This will help you to improve your Fibonacci retracement trading instead of using a Fibonacci retracement blindly. I remember the first time I, I, I learned about Fibonacci retracement, it was quite amazing and I tried playing with it. 
After a while, I, I was discouraged because I buy at 50%, sometimes price goes up, sometimes it doesn't. And I start losing more than uh, I'm winning. I'm thinking, well, this thing is not working. But the trouble is not that the thing is not working. It's just I'm, I was misusing it. I do not know how to use the Fibonacci retracement properly. All I was doing, I was just buying and selling at the Fibonacci retracement at key levels. The best approach is to map out the chart as I did here and uh, pay attention to the price structure, what is happening here. There's a consolidation now between the 38.2% and 50% level. That's, that's the play now. They bring it down, they take it down, they bring it down, they bring it down. You can see very fast, you see this candle here. Why? The, you see the theory, the following candle is bullish because they bought it. They bought it here. They are playing consolidation right now. That's what they are playing now. So the market pattern, as I said a hundred times, will determine the appropriate strategy that we must deploy. Whether we apply Fibonacci retracement strategy, Fibonacci extension strategy, area waste strategy, any type of trading system or strategy, my friend, one must always check first the market pattern before deploying the strategy. Without that, we will use any strategy wrongly. You can buy the most uh, rewarding uh, trading system in the world, but if you do not use it in conjunction with the market pattern, you will be going round, 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 round with that trading system, and it won't work. But if you apply any trading method in conjunction with the market pattern, you will make better trading decision. Have I said enough? I think I've said enough now. Oh, you get a message. So this this is the play, all right? So it's going down in the pink channel. From here, it's a contra trend. It's a tricky trend. It may go up and continue to go up, but it's one step at a time from here to the next level, from the next level to the next level without violating the market pattern. If you find a resistance here, they will try to sell it, start going down. Support at 27, support at 22, and then the support at 78% Fibonacci retracement level, and so on and so on. Even here, if you are buying at 78%, which is considered in theory as oversold zone, again, one step at a time because the market pattern is a pink channel, it's a declining channel, we cannot ignore it. The financial instrument that we are looking at today, Liberty Global Incorporation, will become truly, truly bullish if it breaks above the pink line, the pink channel, and finally support. Because the channel is indicating the current momentum. The current momentum is a bearish momentum in the declining channel. Until it goes above that pink channel and finally support, then we are not yet out of the world. Remember the orange trend line because it's a very important key level. Okay, if it breaks above the channel, Hey, somewhere here, it's not going up. Don't forget uh, that orange, okay, a trend line. This is about how to train Fibonacci retracement, eyes wide open like a pro. Okay. Before I was blind, now I can see. Can you see clearly now? <laughs> okay, all right. So if you have any question or suggestion, okay, put in the comment section. And the course, I will be recording another video uh, to answer your specific uh, question. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders talking about how to trade Fibonacci retracement eyes wide open like a pro. One does not want to use Fibonacci retracement blindly, using the key level like magic one. One wants to use them with market geometry, trend line, key levels without ignoring okay, the market pattern. The market pattern will determine the appropriate strategy that we must deploy. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Happy to meet you all and speak to you soon.